Welcome everyone, this is Plugin Fox, and we're back with how to install Bungie Core. So Bungie Core is a neat plugin. What it allows it to do is it pretty much allows Bungie Core to be an overarching server, but you can join multiple different servers. So if you had a survival world, I'm going to put a picture up here really quick and I'm going to show you how it's done. Alright guys, I'm going to put this up on the screen and kind of just define what a Bungie Core is. So normally you would have to join into each individual server manually by entering the port and IP address and all that stuff. So what happens is when one person joins, it pings the server, the server pings back and then they join. Well, that's a little bit different than Bungie Court. So Bungie Court allows them to have a proxy and it allows them to join every single server in your network. So this server will be able to connect to your hub. And if you have more than one server, say like a survival world or a something else, this will allow them to pretty much connect to it. So that is a kind of brief summary of what a Bungie Court server is. So let's just dive right in now. So if we go to Bungie Core, I have this installed. Waterfall is the same thing, but if you go to download Waterfall, uh, you can download it from paper. It's the same exact thing as Bungie Core does, but what we're going to have to do is if you edit the start menu, you're going to want to change this jar file from paper to waterfall and this is what we did with our last server with the survival world that we did if you haven't seen that video go back and watch it and you'll kind of understand what we're talking about with the bat file the start.bat so that's what you want to end up doing and then you want to go to your configuration folder so this is going to be a look a little bit different than mine or yours will look a little bit different than mine because i've edited mine a little bit um you will not have the server part. You will have to enter this yourself. So what I'm going to end up doing is if you guys want, I'm going to put a mega server out there that where you can just download this off the internet and then you can have your own Windows server pretty much of Bungie Core, uh, Survival, and the Hub. It'll just be a basic server. Nothing interesting anymore, but what you want to make sure is this is 25565 and that's what you want to happen. What we want to end up doing is turning the hub into 25566 and then the survival world into 25567. That is the biggest difference right there because what we're going to end up doing is running three Minecraft servers, but it will only be seen as one. So what you also want to do is which one has priority. You want to always have your hub have priority because that's what people will join the most. If something, say, were to happen to the hub, I put survival down because survival will be next in line. So let's get back into this here and we're going to go back to our hub. As I said, I've already pretty much done this all already. I'm going to do this once for you guys in the hub and then whatever server you want to do afterwards you can kind of copy what I did with the first one and then we can kind of get started there so let's open up spigot and then under spigot you'll have bungee cord turn bungee cord to true instead of false because yours will be false I've already done this so turn this to true and save that file and close it now open server and go to recon port and go to Q or the uh, normal port, so server port here, and turn them both to 25566. That will allow them, actually, recon port you don't really need to change, it's Q port that you need to change. So change them both to 25566, and that will allow them to both be on the same network. Now, the next thing you need to do is turn online mode to false instead of true, because what will happen is your Bungie Cord network will pretty much be online and it will manage everything after that. So if you have something wrong where you're missing skins or some plugin isn't working, it's probably because your Bungie Cord network isn't set properly. So those are the two things you really need to do. And then what you can do is pretty much start your server after that. 
So we're gonna go into Bungie Cords, start all three of these servers, and then we're gonna jump right into Minecraft. All right, now you can see I'm in the server. As you can see, it's just another Bungie Cord server and you can pretty much change how many people you can have in it. And if I join, it will take probably a second longer because it's trying to join to the Bungie Cord network. As you can see, now I'm in and falling to my death. Let me wait till it loads here really quick. But while that's loading, you can see here that the hub has been connected and I've been able to connect to the hub with the bungee cord network, but the bungee cord network also moves players around. So as you can see here, I'm really not doing anything. I don't know why it's not pointing up the world, but if I go to survival, it's going to teleport me to survival. And there we go. So now I moved from one server to the next without having to leave the Minecraft server. And if I go back to the hub, it will do the same exact thing. Just to let you guys know, you can have as many servers as you want connected to a bungee cord server. The bungee cord server will have to be a little bit more powerful the more servers you put on it because it is going to have to manage every single server with all the people. So that's pretty much just a crash course of what a bungee cord server is and what it does. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.